My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking All questions. Clear, sir. Potentially turn on Monarch. Mr. Alternatively, Serene. I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. We had Jack in custody, but I was starting to witness visions from the future. Sir, who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. Paul. My powers grew stronger even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. Trusted monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to stay. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody sneak around down there. Hey! I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch Security Station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. We're taking the hard line. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased.
Take her and the others to the Ground Zero operation. Make it quick. Painless. No. Wait. There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Time's up. What do you want? Names, witnesses, anyone who might implicate Monarch. See those two men on either side of me? Well, I'm going to stand. I'm going to leave. And the one on your right is going to shoot you in the head. Fuck you. Hmm. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. City Hall servers are on a different platform than the rest of her report because they have all these government contractors who need two-way access. That means weaknesses. So, all Where? we have... Huh? Where? 
Where what? Well, oh, weaknesses, you said. Shut the fuck up, Bernard. Now, all we have to do is identify as a client who had previous access, maneuver our way through all the holes poked in the firewall, and assuming all these ports are just left open, then all we have to do is use the protocol numbers and just move our way up. Simple? Come on. Come on. And we're in. Eh? Street cams, dash cams, computers at headquarters. I mean, hell, I could hijack police scanners and put out an APB on your mom. What the fuck is that? What is that? It's coffee? Yeah, I know, it's coffee. What the fuck is it doing on my desk, Brenner? Have you ever seen one of these? Hmm? You know what it is? Coaster. Coaster. Yeah, do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. Now, can you tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know, and that makes me sad for you. All we do now, we draft an email to Mayor Rackley letting him know that Monarch is offering their private security forces, which of course he's gonna take, because at this point, without him knowing, we've tied both his hands behind his back when he wasn't looking. <laughs> and that, Brenner, is how you take river port under Monarch control. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Shit. Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. I was just... Winka, where are we with Joyce? Joyce, yeah, I, uh, I've got the cameras. I just need to find a locale. Keep an eye on it. And when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor? What the... Hello? But I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> Close your eyes. any moment, Riverport police are asking that citizens stay clear of the area and the
cause of the premature library demolition is not yet known, but foul play has not been ruled out. Dozens have already begun picketing outside of Monarch's headquarters, demanding answers. Our thoughts are with the families of Amy Ferraro and all others who are missing at this time. More on this story as it develops. Hold. There's been a development. Jack. You've already seen it. Tonight on the island. He'll be there, and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Your fifth calm traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. holding regarding last night's violence at Riverport University. The Riverport Police Department is currently investigating the premature demolition of the University Library. Monarch Solutions is lending a hand in this investigation. I want to encourage the people of Riverport to offer them every assistance in finding those responsible. Two bacon and egg sandwiches? Thanks. A government bill to crack down on laboratory experiments on animals inspected by the law today. Animal rights act. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance. Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so... You didn't get the right... ...any kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the, what's the 411? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the 411. Yeah, the 411. <laughs> uh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine? Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. Do you think they're going to cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hash knows what he's doing. You going to go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. I don't know. We can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. Buddy.
Liam, this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away, right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. No. No! Gosh, he's gone. Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what? The of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing, it's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed, I was responding to I did not give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! Liam, if they take me in, then it's the end for me. The end for you. Now! I'm just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Liam! Shut up! Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well, uh... Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away, right now! You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a... Still waiting to wake up. Why am I here? Only way forward.
Huh. Well, that's weird. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines, rewind them. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why. But part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joy? Everybody Monarch took from the university was on that board. Two lines through the deceased. Like they were nothing. Finishing up with the last up in A3. Didn't expect to be leaving the university with a kill list. Why not deal with them at the camp? That's fruit bill. This elevator looks like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. Some power. Figures. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade for that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks? If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm... No! Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence.
Taxi guy. You drove me to the university. What is all this? They're killing everybody. Everybody from the university, they grabbed me out of my goddamn cab. Jesus. You saved my ass. How'd you get free? I'm still figuring that out. All those people. Dead. Just because they gave a damn about some shitty old building. Because Monarch didn't want them talking about what they saw. Good guys. Look, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know how to get there? Dry docks, uh, yeah, I think I know the way. Whatever you need, I got your back. It's a push. We gotta make it through that building to get to the dry dock. Thank Christ you're okay. What about that guy you went to see at the campus? Did he get out all right? Not exactly. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. We can't let them get away with this. Gate's locked. There's gotta be a gate doohickey around here. Oh, hey, the gate's open. Okay, uh, gate's closed too fast. Not necessary. Oh, shit. You ch what are you, some kind of goddamn X-Man? That was... Okay. Don't panic. It's, um... Freaking sick, man! It's locked. There's gotta be another way inside. Looks like there's an open window. Whoa. It's worth a shot. Wait here, I'll try that. Industrial area and made it. It's where all the ghosts now to get to that door, you know, building ghost boats or whatever. <clears throat> and then in 2010, <clears throat> I was starting to get a little antsy out there. Mr. Serene's chopper is inbound for you. Hey, all right, now you where are we going to next? Oh, hey, there's a map over here. We can figure out the best route to the dry docks. Hey, Magellan, you want to take a look at the map? Hmm. Security's tight. We might have to head through that area called Ground Zero to get there. That's the exact area where my brother used to have his workshop. Your bro. You think he's connected to this somehow? I'm gonna find out. You should stay here for now. I have a feeling the next part's gonna get messy. Yeah, I don't do messy. All right, I'll guide you to the dry docks from here on the radio. Channel three. I'll open up the door for you. Deal. Keep safe. 
Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Hostile! Did I scream it for you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Nick, you there? Talk to me. Where am I going? That warehouse is split into two halves. Find the exit, take the alley to the other side, and let me know when you're there. All right. Great. Shotgunner advancing on hostile. Mother. You want to talk this out? I didn't think so. Taxi guy, where am I headed? It's Nick, by the way. Jack. Okay, uh, there's a door on the upper level leading to a sky bridge, but looks like you need to turn off security to get it open. How do I do that? On the map, there's a squiggly line that leads from the door to a big square, and that square has two squigglies leading to little circles. What the fuck does that mean? What am I doing here? I don't know, man. I'm not the superhero. Find the door, follow a squiggly line to a box, more squigglies, circles, do something. Security turns off and you're gone. Okay, security's down. Damn, that, that was quick.
Nick, I'm on the bridge. Oh, uh, map says you're heading towards a storage facility for, uh, Meyer Joyce particles and harvesting equipment. Joyce particles? This whole operation is based on my brother's research. Your bro? You don't think he's working for... No. I, I don't know what to think, but Paul is up to something big. See if you can find out more. Yeah, I'm on it. All levels will lower to a point that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before... Sophia Amaral. Hello. Monarch's I'm resident chronon scientist. Over the past oh, she must years, know a lot of the same Monarch stuff Will did. Vast technological advances in the area of Meyer Joyce particles, better known as chronon particles. On July 4th, 2020, unique temporal anomalies... <laughs> I'm in the harvesting warehouse. It looks like there's no clear exit on the ground level. Head for the upper floors when you're ready. No clear exit down here. doing in there. Those dates, 1999 and 2010, keep coming up in these files. Here is where it gets scary. 2010 minus 1999 equals 11. Times 11 by 2010, flip it backwards, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. It's not exact, okay. but it's like a couple numbers off from being our zip code. Uh-huh. Keep me posted. <sighs> okay. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. 
The will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there, but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack? It's Beth. Monarch got footage of some idiot accessing Facebook from a nearby security station. Please tell me said idiot isn't with you. Nick, I gotta go back for him. Don't. I'll pick him up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul at the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. Jack? Jesus! Close. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. Yeah, take a while to guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as ground zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there, and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks and Serene. Guys. Paul developed technology for his men to move through stutters. He knew the fracture would occur, prepared for it. Oh, shit. He never tried to stop it. Never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. Hell. What is this? <laughs> what? what the hell, hell? What is what this? Is this? That already happened. What the fuck? I specifically requested copper clad niobium. Well.
There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Me and my grant extended another year. Please, don't do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. It was overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain. Tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you. Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No!
Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. But we both know it did. That's gonna hurt. Jack. It's like a goddamn maze in here. Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. My exact words were, don't do anything stupid. I've never been a great listener. Well, time to start. 
Get in. What if I don't trust you? Then shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the van. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. She scares me, Jack. my music. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury swimming hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. What was your brother doing in this shithole? Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. I agree. I had to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. The key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Nick? Hey, Nick. This looks a lot like your taxi. Can't be. I parked it way back at the... <laughs> Holy shit! That's my goddamn license plate. <laughs> How the hell did it get here? I don't know. I have a feeling somebody beat us here. This is all connected. Some kind of message. Think, Nick, think. Zero, one, one, two, two. Zero, one, one, two, two. Numbers, teleporting taxis. Hey, I think I found a way in. Okay, I've got it. I have a theory how my taxi ended up here. Your taxi. <laughs> Damn it. These stutters aren't going. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. Okay, May 17th. What the hell were you doing here, brother? This is William Joyce. Time travel experiments for rats? $12,000 moving bill. You must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Shit. No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. Come on, come on, come on. We're okay. And we're back. This is Bobby Radford with the latest. We got an official.
rock in there? Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. About time. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Yeah. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. If it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <clears throat> I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Hey. Is that? Yeah, I think so. A second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell's it look like? A round thing in the middle. Okay. I can't activate the core till it's reset. Hey. It looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will is leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. I think the control doohickey's right here. It's a hell of a thing, huh? Jesus. Here goes nothing.
This was the final step. I need to set up the machine first. taking all this surprisingly well. Don't get me wrong, this is weird as fuck, but it beats being back in that room with two asshats holding a gun to my head. Ah, uh, it's fair enough. The corridor, it's key activated. Will's key. Something's wrong with the machine. We don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't. know I'm right. Stop. I'm trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. I just go round. I 